listen to this track, bitch. Girl, the way you move it, yeah. got me yeah. in a train. Yeah. DJ, turn me up. Yeah. Ladies, this your jam. Yeah. I'm a simple yeah. scout. Yeah. You gon' move yeah. the pain. Yeah. And I'ma throw this money. Yeah. Why you do it with no hands? Yeah. Girl, yeah. drop it to yeah. the floor. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vivi to Mage 11. And today I'm going to be showing you how I do barrows. Now, first, the recommended gear setup is I wear Helm of Nate is Not, Bandos, um, Berserker Ring, D Boots. I use a Rapier, DFS. Um, you can substitute this with like Abbey Shield, uh, Rune, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, you're gonna want mage defense, so I bring carols. You can bring armadil, dehide, whatever. You're gonna want your special weapon, mine's claws. You can bring DDS, whatever. Uh, I use supersets. Ex you can use extremes. Doesn't matter. Uh, I bring a emergency prayer potion because just in case I get Durak in the uh, tunnel. And you're going to want your spade, house teleport, lunar staff, and the method we're going to be using is the house teleport method. And with doing this, you make profit every single run. And you don't need any prayer, like any prayer potions, unless you get Drac in the tunnel. But first what you're going to do is you're going to start out and head east towards the fairy ring over here at Edgeville the re requirements for this is 47 construction because you're going to need an altar at your house to restore your prayer and you're going to want to have a mounted glory on your wall so you can teleport back to Edgeville or you can just wear a glory if you don't have one set up doesn't matter the ring we're going to uh, teleport to is BKR. Now when you get here you run south. Just directly south. And how I know when to turn is when this path narrows and then you see this brown to the right that brown spots how I know when to turn and then you board the boat now for low levels I use lobsters because they're really cheap and I don't get hit much anyhow so like lower levels you might want to bring sharks or something in case you get hit and now I make profit every single time doing this but lower levels may not because they have to use more supplies to kill the stuff and if you don't have claws or stuff you know to kill Drak really fast now I throw these on and I go straight for Drak pot up I use protect melee and piety Usually it kills him right off the bat. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted the second special, but it's fine. Um, next I do Carol's because he's another one you're going to want to protect on. You don't have to. It's just suggested if you have prayer left over. I usually don't, but like if he's in the tunnel or something, I won't use prayer because I can just usually kill him pretty quick here with rapier anyhow. It's close to every time. And it's very quick. Next, I head up to Varak. Varak. However you pronounce it. Dig down in here. Melee and piety again. Oh, he's a tunnel. That's not a bad thing. I won't use prayer on him then. Because he'll, I'll be out of it by then. Next is Guthans. Yeah, 
yeah, if you have prayer left over, just use whatever's left of it on him. I never hit on him. Like, I never hit on Guthin or Varric. The rest of them I usually kill pretty quick. And then I head over to um, Toreg. I'd like to save my claw specials for um, Arim or whoever's in the tunnel, which is Varric this time. But yeah, pretty much, I haven't had to eat, so. And that's all my prayer. I'm done using prayer now. Put on your carols before you go to Arim. And I like to do him last because he reduces your stats. Not by much when you're potted, but it's still uh, no special. He splats a lot, so I don't even bother using prayer. But I just bring an emergency just in case I get Drak in the tunnel. See, he lowered my stats. I don't care about defense or any of that crap. They won't hit me anyhow. And now you head to your tunnel. Now what you want to do is pick out where the middle is. You're going to find which door it is. It's that one. So I can go through here. And then I'm going to walk down through this tunnel. Oop, there's Varric. So I'm going to kill Varric. I'm going to walk down through this tunnel. And back through that door there. Go through here. And if you need to, just Google like the puzzle. Uh, how to do the puzzle to get through. And... I will record again when I get there so I don't waste time because I'm at 7 minutes already. Another thing you're going to want to keep in mind is the kill count. For each monster you kill, like each skeleton, blood worm, whatever, that's going to determine how many items. So killing 5 skeletons versus killing 1 isn't going to help anything. You want to kill like 1 of each. And I'm not going to waste the time here because I don't have that much time. So I'll kill this rat and then you open up the chest. And here, I'm going to open up the chest. Yeah, see, nothing good. Uh, 235 death runes, that's pretty good. And see, that's mostly all profit. I did eat a lot of lobsters because Varric kept hitting me, but I didn't use prayer or anything. You teleport to your house, recharge your prayer at your altar, and then you're going to run over to, <coughs> to your mounted glory. Which mine's all the way over here. And yeah, my house sucks because I don't really have much of a use for it yet. I'm worried about other things before I s go spending 200 mil on a house. Teleport to Edgeville. And then you're going to bank and repeat. And if you're lucky, then you'll get some good stuff from Barrows. Right here, pretty much what I got. See... 103k that's not bad that's actually a usually I get around 30 to 50k so this is really good for not getting a Barrows item alright um, you guys can rate comment if you like the video you can subscribe to me I'll make you can request more videos and I'll make you know whatever guides you need so alright see ya